Welcome back to Harvest Moon 64, everybody. Praise be to God. And it looks like Maria's going to be doing the laundry today. Cool. So, we might actually end up finishing winter in this episode, depending on uh, how things go. Mainly because we don't have that many days left, and a lot of them are festivals. And our days are pretty boring anyways. So, that's just something that you might be able to look forward to. I'm not gonna promise that we're gonna get done with it, but there's a decent chance. Still got the medium milk. <laughs> we also have a nearly full barn now. Here, honey, have an eggplant. <laughs> I know it's not much, but that's the only thing that happened to grow today, so. All right, we are ready for gift day in town. It's not actually a holiday, but I just want to give stuff away. Because I'm so nice. <laughs> I'm so wonderfully nice. Hello, kids. I got some stuff for you. Thank you! I like you a lot. When you learn how to read books, you can read signs too. Yes, you've told me this. Hey, Kent. Thanks. You're now newlyweds, right? Yep. Wow, is this for me? Thanks! I want to learn how to read books. Well, good luck with that. Hey, Parson. Oh, thank you! It's my favorite! I sometimes have trouble answering children's questions. Yeah, when the children start asking where babies come from, that's a little tough. Without scarring them. Artie, get along with your wife. You'll be together a long time. Well, thank you. I was I was planning on it. I'd like to buy some strawberry seeds, please. I can only buy 13 of them, since you can only hold 20 at a time, and I have 7 with me. Here, have a tomato. Oh, thank you. That makes me happy. Hello, tomorrow's the Star Night Festival. Poppery always goes somewhere alone. Oh, interesting. Of course, I don't want to spend it with Poppery. I want to spend it with my wife. Oh, that's right, the bakery's closed. Why is everything closed? Why is everything closed on Monday? Let me in, Rick. Hey, Rick, I got a rare medal for you. Oh, it's the rare metal! Thank you! It's a very rare stone and hard to get your hands on. I'm so happy. I owe you one. That'll do something special when spring comes around. Hey, the mayor. In the old days, the farm was lively and cheerful. Hardy work hard to bring it back to life again. Yeah, yeah. It's the potion shop dealer's house. Hey, potion shop dealer, look what I found. Is that really for me? Are you sure it's okay? Yep. Seeing you looking like your grandpa makes me feel young again. <laughs> so I gave him the Pantata root, which means when we go back in here, this last potion should be ready. These are strong vitamins. Take them when you are very tired. The price is a bit high at 2000G, but they work. Don't depend on drugs. Everything will be fine if you go to bed early. And don't work a lot, apparently. It... It's the Gourmet Man. I'm going to buy the final animal for my barn today. My one sheep. Eh, thank you. Pick up friends you want to buy. Do you want to ask me any questions? I'm here to buy. Sheep. Okay, I'll take it to the farm today. There are no cancellations and no refunds. And once you buy an animal, the only way you can get rid of it is by having it die. Not fun. So we're not going to get a lot of time in the mine today. But that's okay. Hey, Karen. Only this front here is from my grandma. She had very beautiful blonde hair. Though I've only seen it in pictures. I'm just going to, you know, help myself. Hey, make you a deal. Okay, I give you this eggplant, you let me have some wine. Oh, thank you very much. I was born and raised down south, so I'm not used to the cold. I suffer every winter. Amen, Kai. Amen. Although, I was born and raised in the north, and I still don't like the winter. 
Glug, glug, glug. Alright. Didn't get the power nut, but I did get a rare metal that I can sell, so I am happy with that. Keep it in a shack, name it and care for it. Alright, my one and only sheep. Of course it's gonna be Sean the Sheep. Not a huge Sean the Sheep fan, but I am a big Wallace and Gromit fan. So, that works. So welcome to the exciting and new... Hey look, it's a sheep! Sean, you look fine today. Here, have some fodder. Alright, what's my fodder? Okay, I only have 99 fodder left, and I'm using 8 a day. So I may actually end up having to buy fodder from Green Ranch. But that's okay, because I've got cash to burn. Where did my dog go? Oh, that's right. The staircase got finished building, so it kicked my dog out of my house for some reason. It's like the winter is the time to prepare things, as if plants, insects, even people are slowly gathering energy. Slowly? Jeez. I crated up the eggs. Alright, thank you so much, sweetie. How about this? Isn't it great? I've just finished. Take a look. You, doggy, are coming back inside. Yeah, if we go up the stairs... We're on the roof! Which does absolutely nothing... functionally. But it does look cool. Yoo-hoo, brother! Wow, you have a sheep! It goes by, right? Yes. See ya. My poor one sheep. I'm sure he's gonna be the outcast of the barn. Corn is grown at last. Alright, so today is the Star Night Festival, which... I can't actually remember what happens here. I'll be honest. So that'll be interesting to see what actually does happen. Hey, Lilia. Oh, thank you. That makes me happy. Uh, winter's boring. Uh. Yes, I agree. Basically, I think you hang out at your farm late at night and your wife will watch the stars with you. That's what I think happens. For once, the cake is actually not for me. Tonight is the Star Night Festival. People will get together at church. Oh, that's right! You can go to the church, you can go to the bar, or you can go to Papari's place. It's the Star Night Festival tonight! I'll watch the stars from our special place. We're not married. <laughs> it's not our special place, it's your special place. Thank you, I like you a lot. I can read books a little now. Because I gave you cake? Here you go, thanks. You're now newlyweds, right? Yep. Here you go. Well, how is this for me? Thanks. I want to learn how to read books. Kids are not getting much better. Oh, thank you. It's my favorite. I sometimes have trouble answering children's questions. Well, that's a shame. Here we go. Because we just bought a sheep, he'll sell us these. Those are wool clippers. Don't use them to cut anything else. The price is 1,000G. Yes, please. Thank you. We'll send this out to the farm. Honestly, I will hardly ever need those, but I still want to buy them. And for once, I think we'll we will break it from tradition, and we will go fishing instead of going downtown to the uh, ore mine. Ore mine's not downtown. What am I saying? Hey, Cliff. This is my first time here, and I haven't heard any details. But it's strange. I feel nostalgic. You, this is not your first time here. I've seen you here before. It's time for us... That's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. I pushed load instead of save. Oh, no! Actually, wait a second. Not quite as bad. Still pretty bad, though. Oh my gosh, this is why I shouldn't play Time Lord. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I have to redo all of this again. Everything. Oh no! This is terrible. 
It's my own fault, though. Oh man, I just had an idea for a great video game. Or book, or movie, or something. It's about a Time Lord, who... He can't move time forward, he can only rewind it to a specific spot he has already lived. So essentially, he basically just has save states. And then it's all about him making, like, terrible mistakes. And, like, he accidentally screws up and loads an older time, and yet he can't... He forgot to make one that's farther in the future, so he literally has to relive a huge portion of his life again that he doesn't want to. And it could have a bunch of different twists in it as well, but... Come on, that sounds pretty cool! <laughs> sounds cool to me, at least. Honestly, a game that's all about making save states and reloading the right ones, that could be a pretty cool game, actually. <laughs> Let's try this again, shall we? This time, even if we reload the wrong state, I made a new one, so it won't be so bad to have to replay. Oh man, that was horrible. And entirely my fault. I should know F7 is load because 7 upside down looks like an L, which stands for load. And F5, 5 looks like an S, which stands for save. That can be for our dog. Hey, Cliff. The year end makes me feel uneasy. It's like something's been left undone. Well, have a happy new year. Well, thank you. You too, Cliff. Alright, so as I was trying to say before I screwed myself into doing the day over again, sometimes I have to deliver serious letters and sad letters. But that's why I feel so good about delivering happy letters. Yes, that's wonderful. So Star Night Festival, you can go to one of three places. You can go to the Moon Mountain Summit for Papari, you can go to the church for Ellie, Anne, or Maria, or the bar for Karen. Of course I'm going to the church canonically, but I mean... I want to show off everything, so... <laughs> can I actually do this now that I'm married? I don't think I can. Nope, Papa Reason out there. It's cool. Oh, my hat clips for the roof. That's funny. The daughter has her own opinions. I envy her. Maybe that's why she attracts me. Wow, to tell you the truth, I didn't expect so much from you. He's like, wow, you have a full barn now and gave me, like, 30,000 gold. That's pretty cool. You have a good wife. Take care of her. Aw, oh, thanks, man. I agree. Her, my wife is the best. Problems at work. Problems with girls. Problems with time travel. People talk about all kinds of things here. All right. Let's go to the church. What do you mean it's locked? Do I have to wait till it's actually like late at night? Or perhaps I can only go back to my farm for the Star Night Festival? At least said people were gathering at the church, so I mean... Let me try going back to my farm. It might be like Maria's waiting me from there to go to the church together. That would be very romantic. Oh, yeah. I do not... What? No. I literally never touch the control stick. And yet it keeps always turning this. I didn't touch it! Honey, let's go to the Star Night Festival tonight. Heck yeah. I'll do my best. Yeah, now it warps us to the church. Hey, brother, did you come to listen to the performance? Uh, I don't know what I'm to expect. I've not even been here a year. Say, where do shooting stars go? Shooting star summit, didn't you play Paper Mario? Oh, good evening. It's always fine on the Star Night Festival. It's a beautiful starry sky. The Star Night... <coughs> The Star Night Festival is a chance to pray on the night with the most beautiful stars of the year. You get the same stars every day, but don't, don't be daft. Oh, you came! It's going to start soon, and I'm so nervous I can't calm down. Good evening. 
We've, we're all uh, we'll all be playing together. Please listen. I'll try my best at the performance. Please listen. Heck yeah, you're playing the organ, and that's cool. Hello, good evening. May the, we begin the performance. Heck yeah. Please sit back and enjoy. These pews look very uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Who knew Ellie and Anne were so good at using the flute? <laughs> it's very simple model animations, but it's very adorable nonetheless. Maria's even banging her head to the music. Honey, let's go pray to the stars. Um, this is kind of sacrilegious for me, but... Um, how about we look at the stars and pray to God? I, I'm cool with that. Beautiful sky, isn't it? I hope that everyone is happy. Today was a good day and I'm going to have a good sleep. Well, isn't that hunky-dory? Well, that was weird. <laughs> I created up the eggs. Today is a perfect day for doing the laundry. You said that yesterday. And yesterday was technically snowing, I just want to say. It wasn't because it was a festival, but it was technically snowing. I was doing a little finger waggle there. You couldn't see it. Actually, wait a second. I got fish. I'll just give this these to my wife. Hey, Maria, you kind of like fish, right? I guess. Yeah, you do. Yoo-hoo, Braver! Um, what's up? Hey, Braver! Taro had puppies! I'm sure Rory is the father! Come take a look! Oh! I totally forgot about this! If you're really good friends with the kids, this happens. She had two puppies. <laughs> we must be very quiet around the newborn puppies. Otherwise, Taro will get upset. I hope I can hold them soon. No, Braver, you have to be patient. I know. Okay, that is so adorable. Yeah, if you're really good friends with the boys, then, um, their dog will have puppies. It's a little weird. Then That's not biologically how it works, but, eh. Also, my dog has been locked in his house for, like, a month or two. I guess that makes sense. He, there have been a few days where he's gotten out because of the carpenters kicked him out. So that, that could have been when it happened. All I know is uh, Rory is definitely the father because they look exactly like him. But yeah, that adds technically two new characters to the game. <laughs> okay, move it, cows. <laughs> My cows are just like, okay, okay, we'll move, jeez. Oh, my milk! <laughs> Bother. Uh, hi, cow lump. That's the new ultimate insult, cow lump. It's like calling someone a cow, but a lump of cows. That means they're really fat. <laughs> Colorful Artie does not condone calling anybody a cow lump unless they are a non-fictional, uh, non-real character from a video game that truly deserves it. Tomatoes. Oh lord! My cabbages and tomatoes have grown today. Well. This is gonna be a long episode. From my perspective. Well, it took a very long time, but I finally have a refrigerator, nice and filled with cabbages and all sorts of other vegetables. 
so I now have a supply of great gifts to give to my amazing wife. Anyways, whoo! 25th today. I believe this is the day the raffles start at both the bakery and the flower shop. I don't think we can participate in the flower shop lottery because of the stupid flowers thing, but ugh, whatever. I'd love to get fresh milk and eggs, and I'd like to buy flowers, so... Do you have enough points on your card? You can get a raffle ticket now. <laughs> so how's married life? There will be rough spots, but you just have to ride them out. Yeah, no, my marriage is like perfect, but this stupid flower shop, not so much. All right, I can't remember how much I have on my bakery card. So that's my flower card. Bakery card, I've got 13 points, so I can draw a raffle. Hi, you have enough stickers on the card. Do you want to draw? Alright, so there are four different prizes. The tablecloth is like a blue tablecloth that goes on the main table in your first room. The mag is actually a mug, which goes on the table in your kitchen. The third prize is dish, which I don't know what they were trying to say there. It's basically placemats which also go in the kitchen table. Fourth prize, it fills your bottle with honey, which completely refills your stamina and gets rid of all your fatigue. All of these are great prizes, but honestly, the honey I'm not crazy about, so I will be making a temporary save state here. Congratulations, second prize is a mug. Isn't it cute? I don't know, I can't see it. And the raffle lasts until, I believe, the 29th, so... Oh, thank you for buying that and giving it to me immediately. The year will end soon. It went by so fast. Yeah, it did. I did not give Lilia her tomato because I was so ticked off at the stupid flower shop lottery. Oh, thank you. That makes me happy. Can I please buy some raffle points? You can draw one lottery ticket for every ten points on the card. Collect a lot of points. Would you please just sell me flowers so I can get more points on my card? It's literally win-win. You get money, I get points. <laughs> Seriously, why would you not do that? Because the flower shop owners are idiots, that's why. Cake for everyone. Thank you, I like you a lot. When you learn how to read books, you can read science too. Yeah, I'm buying tons of cake, giving it away, but I also just sold a butt ton of cabbage today, so that should be fine. Wow, is this for me? Thanks. It'll be great when I can read books by myself. Oh, thank you. It's my favorite. I've lived a long time, but I still feel I have a lot to learn. Oh, absolutely. If at any point you're like, I know everything, I don't need to, like, <laughs> learn anything else. I already know it all. Like, oh, yes! The first Jeff scene at last! Hmm, very berry pie, walnut cake, and tea. Are you going to eat both? Well, I'm tired and hungry, so yes. <coughs> <coughs> I envy you, Poppery. You never get fat, even when you eat a lot. I plump up so quickly. Here, today's special is mint tea. I think girls should be a little plump. It's healthier. <laughs> That's how the master likes it, right? You shouldn't force yourself to diet. You're attractive. Here you go. I topped the pie with ice cream. Wow, thanks! Okay, Dane. Ellie's totally trying to make Popper gain weight. Also, that, yes, that was supposed to be one of the rival scenes between Jeff and Ellie. Like, their flirtation scene. Basically because... Apparently, either Ellie's supposed to be, like, a little bit on the chubby side, or, like, she gets chubby quickly? I don't know. She looks really thin and skinny to me from the model, but apparently Jeff doesn't mind girls that are not, like, super skinny. And that's good, because it's not healthy to be super skinny. Welcome. Oh, hello. Ellie's cakes are good, aren't they? Hello. I hope I'm not intruding on anything. I'd like to buy three more cakes, please, so I can get another lottery drawing. <laughs> Jack just blew, like, 5,000 gold on cake. Just cake. 
You have enough stickers on the card. Do you want to draw? Temporary safe state. Draw. Congratulations. Fourth prize is special honey. It'll boost your spirits a hundredfold. Um, I'd rather not. Sorry, it's blank, but here are some cookies. Have some when you get hungry. No, heck no. I'm a time ward. I'm not dealing with this. Congratulations. First prize, a tablecloth. Your home will be gorgeous. Aw, oh, thanks, Luigi. So basically how that works is... There, like, there are the four different prizes. There's a one in four chance that'll draw each of the prizes. However, once you win one of the prizes that you can't win again, such as the mug, if that number draws up again, it'll be a blank, essentially. Also, the uh, cake... The bakery prizes are way better than the flower shop prizes. The flower shop really only has, like, two or maybe three worthwhile prizes. Thank you very much! Is it really okay? Whew, it's cold. I'd like to be home in the warmth, but I've got many things to do. I've got to wander around town aimlessly until people ask me what I'm doing. <coughs> also, if we go into the library, the mayor's wife is in charge now. <coughs> <coughs> so how's married life? If you need someone to talk to, I'll be glad to lend an ear. That would be much more comforting coming from someone who's not a robot. Sorry. Hi, the midwife. I have an eggplant. It boosts your affection more, even though it takes forever to get through your text box. Hey, Sonny, make me a baby soon. I don't want to see your child before I... Oh, I do want to see your child. Well, you know what? We've not even been married for a month, so I think that would be a little premature and prudent to say so. Wow, thank you very much. I know, I know, you were de you were depressed about the sad and serious letters you had to deliver, which is why I gave you cake. It's clearly not because I just have an abundance of cake, I'm just nice. Have a piece of cake. Oh, thank you very much. Vegetables, whatever. The pleasure is the same, harvesting the fruits of your labor, and the smell of the soil, great memories. I guess. Glug, 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 glug. Except wine made from grapes is going to taste way better than wine made from potatoes. Or would it? To be honest, I've mentioned this before, I do not like the taste of wine at all. Unless it's uh, used in, like, a burgundy wine reduction for a pot roast. In which case, then, it's amazing. But then again, also, all the alcohol's cooked out, so it's not really still wine. But it's also not grape juice, because it's nowhere near sweet enough. And again, I'm doing this for two reasons. One is because I want to get my stamina back up so I can go into the mine. The other is because I want to raise my alcohol tolerance for the New Year's Day festival. Only have five more days for the mine. Maybe six. I can't remember if it closes on the 30th or if it's still open on the 30th. Well, that was a pretty lame trip to the mine, I'll be honest. I looked absolutely everywhere and there was no hole in the second floor to get to the third floor. And I'm pretty sure you need to get to the third floor in order to get the power nut. So that is very disappointing. Also, something that's disappointing, we are definitely not going to be beating winter, and, and by extension year one in this episode. But check it out, we got a little placemat for our living room, it looks very nice. And we've got a single mug now. Guess what, honey? We can drink water now. <laughs> we no longer have to put our mouths directly beneath the faucet while using it. I guess I have my bottle, so... Now my wife has her own drinking device. Alright, I think we're going to end the episode off there. Even though we only really did, I think... Three or four days, to be perfectly honest. Most of this footage will be cut out, so we might have an end, end up with a short episode, but that's okay, because I'm tired of playing. Thanks for watching, I'm Color Forty. Hope to see you for the next episode. We will be finishing up winter next episode. I don't care how long the video is, it's gonna happen. So have a great day and God bless.